Greetings Steiners and welcome to another edition of The Cooking Zone here on the Doomstead Diner. Uh, and it is Christmas Eve and what I am doing right now is I am prepping my Christmas Eve dinner. Okay, and not Christmas Eve dinner, my Christmas Day dinner, uh, which is the traditional uh, day that uh, people feast out for Christmas. Uh, the uh, other feasting day, which we already did, is Thanksgiving. And uh, I don't remember what I cooked for Thanksgiving. Oh, it was a pizza. <laughs> well, today we're not doing pizza. Today we're doing a traditional meal, for the most part. Uh, and in my family, Thanksgiving was the big feast, you know. Uh, we did a turkey and uh, a honey-baked ham and so forth. Uh, the, uh, you know, traditional Thanksgiving fare. Uh, sweet potatoes and, you know, uh, you know uh, green bean uh, casserole and whatever. Uh, we did not have a Christmas dinner tradition in my family. Uh, however, after I got married, uh, which was brief, <laughs> uh, uh, my uh, wife's family did a Christmas dinner, uh, and their tradition was uh, to do a prime rib, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, that's delicious, but a prime rib is a huge section of meat. Uh, you know, it can vary when you buy it in the stores between uh, three and uh, four ribs, or you could buy the whole seven, okay? Whatever you do, it feeds a lot of people. <laughs> and uh, I don't have a lot of people to feed. So I can't do a prime rib, all right? Uh, it would be a huge waste of good beef for me to do a prime rib. But I am going to do the next best thing, all right? And in some respects, it's going to be better than a prime, uh, done as a prime rib, all right? What I'm going to use instead is a bone-in ribeye steak usda grade a grade triple a i don't remember how the grades work grade triple a uh beef that i'm using for this and uh i am going to cook it by a method i've uh, uh shown before but i want to go into some of the details uh that i may not have covered in previous uh episodes uh the advantage of cooking it this way over uh, as a part of a big prime rib is that uh, you can season it better and you can also control the doneness of it better. All right, so let's have a look at the piece of meat that we are going to eat. All right, folks, look at that prime rib. Does that look good? I mean, that's practically Wagyu quality. Look at the marbling, all right? Look at the fat content. That is a beautiful piece of beef, all right? And the thickness, you can see, is about an inch, okay? I'd like it a little thicker, but they didn't have one thicker than that in Three Bears, which is... <clears throat> my uh, meat uh, supplier of choice it's right around the corner from me okay and they have the best meat prices here in Alaska much better than Kroger or Safeway all right uh, Matanuska Meats which is a, a strictly a butcher has better a little better quality meat not much and sometimes it's not better uh, but it's way more expensive 
okay? Uh, I got this piece of grade A, USD A prime uh, beef for $15 a pound, okay? Which is a very good price for this type of beef, uh, at least up here in Alaska. I don't know what you're paying for prime rib down in the lower 48, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to season it up. And uh, I'm just going to use basic seasoning, salt and pepper, nothing else, okay, for this piece of beef. Because we'll, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, we'll be adding uh, some other stuff to it, uh, to this later that will uh, have additional flavors, okay? So, ground sea salt. Okay, use ground salt all the time. And don't over-fucking-do it. Okay. You, you don't, people lay on too much salt all the time on this. And I've been to many fine restaurants where the beef was just too salted out. Okay. You can add salt later if you don't like too much salt. Okay. Uh, or, or you want more salt. And uh, then fresh ground pepper. Again, grind it yourself right before you use it. It's much better than using the uh, pepper that's already ground up. Now this you can be pretty liberal on. I like a decent amount of pepper. And I'm the one eating this piece of beef, right? Okay, we got one side done. And now the other side. Now, I could put a lot of other spices on it, but, uh, you know, flavor it up in, in different ways. But, you know, you want to just taste good beef in this situation with a little accentuation from the salt and pepper. Uh, you don't want to, you know, overwhelm it. So, I'm not doing that. And pepper. When you have a really good piece of beef, you uh, want to... Uh, use minimal spices. Minimal spices. All right. And I don't want to hear anything from the people who consider meat eating to be destructive to the planet and all the rest of that good shit. Okay. This is Christmas. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> all right. Uh, now, how are we going to cook this guy? Well, the method we're going to use is sous vide. All right. Now, I have done videos on sous vide before. And so I'm not going to show you the whole sous vide procedure. But I will show you one part uh, that I think is important that I have not covered before. You have to, when you uh, sous vide, you have to bag the beef and keep the water of the uh, bath. It's, it, you cook it in a water bath. All right, you have to keep the water off the beef. All right, so it has to be in a waterproof container. But what most of the uh, sous vide companies do and promote and so forth is that you vacuum seal or you buy their special bags, which is all a very wasteful and expensive method of doing that. And it's totally unnecessary. Totally. Okay. All right. What I use is... First off, a typical Ziploc bag, okay? Waterproof, holds water, you know, and keeps water out. All right. So if it if water doesn't drain out of it, then water doesn't get into it. All right. So the steak goes in to the bag. Puff like so, okay? Very good. All right. And now we want to get as much of the air out of the bag as we can. And that ensures that the steak will uh, be in, you know, uh, the plastic, at least that's surrounding the steak, will be in contact with the water. And the steak will be in contact with that the whole time. Yes? All right. So... 
we got to get the air out of this thing. How are we going to do that? Well, now the special sous vide bags, they have little pumps and all sorts of shit. Uh, but I'm not going to use that. I am going to use a straw. Okay. Uh, now, you can just use a regular straw, but I have a special straw. <laughs> Which I bought a gimmick, right? Okay. Uh, see that? Is that cool? Folds up. You can keep it in your pocket and bring it to a restaurant with you. So you're not using plastic straws. All right? You know? Now that part is environmentally friendly. All right. And so you stick the straw into the bag. You close it as much as possible, and then you suck the air up. That's good enough. Okay. And now, for some double insurance, also cheap, actually free. <laughs> I love free. Uh, we're going to add... A second layer of plastic bag which is the bags that you uh, throw your produce into when you go to the grocery store and buy veggies all right uh, and I save these things so uh, that's also environmentally friendly so I put it inside this bag also and that's these bags are not perfectly waterproof all the time but they're pretty good uh, believe it or not. Uh, and I put it inside the second bag and poof, I'm good. All right. This sucker is not going to leak. All right. Uh, it's going to uh, be watertight for the whole time that I cook the steak. Now, how long am I going to cook it? Well, I'm actually going to cook it overnight. All right. It's Christmas Eve and I don't have to eat this meal until tomorrow and the longer you sous, sous vide the uh, more tender it becomes and this is already a tender piece of beef so it's going to be uh, like butter all right it's going to melt in your mouth uh, so let me get to that and that's it for this episode I will continue tomorrow with the entire meal that I am prepping for Christmas dinner for myself. Okay? Uh, and that's all the cooking doom this time until next time here on the cooking zone of the Doomstead Diner. Hasta la steak.